dollars. All right, in an emergency, minutes count. So when a Highland couple had a medical emergency on vacation, they found themselves in a medical chopper. Well, more than 18 months later, they're still trying to get the massive bill straightened out. I can only imagine. They decided to call KSL consumer investigator Matt Gephardt for help. Matt. Debbie, Matt, 89,000 bucks. That's what this little air ambulance ride cost. Good news is this couple met their out-of-pocket maximum for the year. So then why are the bills still coming? We were in Arizona on a trip, and he had a stroke. When Robert Ross had a stroke back in November of 2020, his wife Lori called for an ambulance. But when they got him to the hospital, the doctors wanted him moved to a higher-level hospital. Because St. George was closed because of COVID and wouldn't admit him, they life-flighted him to Provo. The good news is Robert was going to be okay. The bad news, the bills. They're saying I owe $12,995. Lori says she has been fighting her husband's health insurance provider, Cigna, ever since on an air ambulance bill. Insurance did pay some, but she says she shouldn't owe anything at all. Should have been paid in full because I have met my out-of-pocket max, and they are refusing to pay it. And Lori says that by phone, it seems Cigna agrees. I have called them. They say, oh, yes, this is a mistake. We need to send it back through. And then I'll call a month later. Oh, yes, this is a mistake. We need to send it back through. I've got the saying that it's a mistake, but it's not being taken care of. Frustrated and tired of fighting on her own, Lori decided it was time to call me. You ask. KSL investigates. Just pay this bill and let me get on and quit worrying about it. So this time we reached out to Cigna on Lori's behalf. In an email statement, a spokesperson said the air ambulance was not a Cigna contracted provider. But they had some good news for Lori. I'll do the hamburger. Just like that, Lori's claim was finally corrected and reprocessed, and she now has a zero payment responsibility. The Affordable Care Act made it law that if you are in an emergency situation, your insurance company must pay those services as in-network no matter what. Once your out-of-pocket max is met, you should have not have to pay any additional costs. If you've got a problem you can't solve, give the KSL investigators a shot at it. The number 385-707-6153. Or you can email me, matt at ksl.com. Okay. Wow. Their next child will...